what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will, the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. What a last couple days for this comment. It's been everything it's been cracked up to be. I tell you what, what is it? It's fizzled out. It hasn't fizzled out. It's made it through perihelion. It hasn't. All right, well, let's see what we can hear. Let's come up here with our, uh, what we think over at www.whatsupinthesky.com. I think, we think, we don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> there, I lost my keyboard, but let's take a look here. We're looking at the uh, helioviewer.org, everybody. A lot of people don't even tell you what this is when they bring it up on their movies. If you haven't checked it out, it's just a way to look at all the uh, satellites that are all around the uh, sun or point at the sun. Um, you can find the satellites down here by hitting the, uh, I'm on Lasco C3, by Soho Lasco C3. This will be in the below. You can hit this. And I'm timestamped back on the uh, 28th. So what I want to do is show you it coming in at the six-hour intervals. And then show you what happened once it came around the corner. So it's such pretty interesting what happens here. So here comes the comet coming in. Well, you know, let's make it a, uh, let's make it one hour just so we can watch it. I don't have it on the movie thing. We look at her come in. Look, at, look how bright it gets as it's coming in. The trail is still bright. Even Look how bright the trail is even back to here um, from the sun. And as of right now, that's when people started saying it was gone. No comet. You know, if you go to NASA now, it's saying Comet Ison may have survived. But if you would have been there a couple a couple of nights ago, it was it did not survive. You know, if you were looking at it now, it looks like, uh, you know, Comet Ison gets roasted by the sun, vanishes, but did it survive? Called a cosmic holiday miracle. The much anticipated cosmic Ison appeared to disintegrate during its Thanksgiving slingshot around the sun Thursday. But something, it seems something may have survived so let's keep on watching uh lasco three here it's, we're at the one hour mark so as we're going to come around look how fast we're moving out right now we're up to uh 11 29 at six okay we're at 6 a.m all right no we're not we we're at uh midnight we were so now we're at 1 a.m 2 a.m 3 a.m 4 a.m 5 a.m 6 a.m 7 a.m and see what we have here it looks like ice on it's got two jets coming out of it one going this way one going that way it's not facing the sun anymore the jets aren't it just looks like it's uh and it actually looks like it's kind of spinning out of control there but i don't know i don't maybe not it just this little blob keeps getting a little bit bigger a little bit smaller each time let me see i shouldn't have done it like that i'm using my uh the mouse I usually use for the anomaly pictures. Let me see if I can use my regular mouse and bring this up a little bit. All right. Oh. Oops. So let's get a let's get a close up because we already know what's down here. Let's get a close up of it so we can really take a look at it. So this was at 11. This was basically 11 a.m. This was yesterday. All right. So from 11 a.m. All right. Here we go. 10 a.m. 11. 12. 1. 2. 3. Four, five, six, still seven. Look at the still got the same tail. More, more, more of it looks like it's getting a little bit smaller right there. And this is at seven, and we go seven p.m. That looks like it's a little bit smaller at eight p.m. Well, this is even. We're not even. We're at we're, pay, we're at twenty two hundred. I'm way past that. Well, what happened? Let me see this real fast. Twelve. Okay, it was just my math. Here we go. There is ten p.m. Look at the change right there. You see how it kind of balls up a little bit more, and it looks like it's kicking stuff off. Um, looks like it might be disintegrating there a little bit more. As uh, God knows, what it actually left. Uh, it looks like the sun baked it. If it was ice and and you know what else, you know, ice and dirty. Dirty ice, dust, whatever they call these things. I don't think we really know exactly these are. Who knows what could actually be in there? It could be any material in there with the dust. So it looks like fragments did make it around. And as we keep coming, here we are. We're at 2 a.m. This was last. This is as of today. Today is the Saturday, the 30th. And uh, we're not moving too fast now. Let's see. It's still about the same rate of speed on out. And then right here at 5 or 6 a.m., it stops moving to like at the same speed so let's see what we got here so we got four three four five six seven see how like the whole thing changed there it's weird how the whole uh let me back that out a little bit let's see how that look, looks like something was either see how all of a sudden it's starting to uh disintegrate there one two three four five all right, where are we at? We're at 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. this morning, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., noon, 1, 
two. And there where's Comet Ice and Comet Ice and has disintegrated. There she goes. Don't think enough made it around that we're going to see. Who knows what kind of chunks made it around. It'll still be interesting to see what does head out. You know, we might have a bunch of really cool, uh, really cool, you know, showers like we get from everything else. We get the Leonids. We get, every year, we get, we've got all these uh, fireballs are coming down now. All sorts of good stuff. Maybe this will add to it. I don't think we're going to see too much past this. I've been really hesitant to speak about, you know, ice on too much. And here, as we step forward in time, this is just... Uh, course we're not really going in time because this has not been let me take you to the latest picture okay so that's the latest and it does look doesn't seem to have the uh, nuclei it looks like they don't know let's, let's go on over here so let's hear what nasa has to say not even though they told us it was totally dead because it didn't hit their sdo cameras which is kind of suspicious to me because it sounds like they had every single camera pointing in the wrong direction um but you know, for conspiracies, I was never one to believe this was a conspiracy. I just thought it was a comet coming in. And I told guys plenty of times, if you've been scared on somebody else's channel, unsubscribe to it. Because what is the difference between Fox News uh, speculating on something that might happen here in the future with terror or CNN doing the same thing? Here's something that might happen in the future that would scare you. And people, you know, sitting here saying, oh, well, ISIS is going to take the power thing out. That's going to take the power strip out. We're not going to have, you know, it's going to send off this huge flare. All right, it's going to blow the sun up. It's going to blow the earth up. I mean, come on, people. If you are belonging to any of those channels and they're telling you that kind of stuff, or they had you scared at any time, unsubscribe to them because they're just as bad as Fox News. And I'll be unsubscribing to some people here. And if you want to unsubscribe, unsubscribe to me because I say that, go ahead. Bye. You know, it is what it is. I, I'm not one to think Comet Iceland ever was going to hurt Earth, that it's ever going to hurt Earth, and all it was ever going to be was a beautiful show. Now I'm kind of upset that a lot more didn't make it around the corner. I'd hope, when I saw this little ball come around yesterday, I had uh, high hopes for it. So, and uh, I'm hoping maybe this isn't a disintegration I'm seeing here, but from what it looks like, that might be what it is, or at least very small. It's lost either its nucleus, its head, whatever the heck they call these things, and they nasty don't know what these things are. Half of these people, we don't know exactly what they are. They're coming from the Oort cloud, or they, you know, they said now they say it has its, uh, it has a, you know, well, I guess it's not going to too much anymore, but it's been around before, you know, it's, it's getting to the point where everything that comes by is a, a doomsday thing, and if that's what the alternative media here has to offer, is just a bunch of doom and gloom, why do you need that in your life? You know, why? that's what we're getting away from Fox News. That's why we're getting away from, I keep saying Fox, that's why we're getting away from those types of channels, you know, um, CNN, they all do it. They all instill fear in you. Um, and I'm not trying to live in a world with fear. Like I said, I, I was excited for Comet Iceland. I'm more depressed and sad now that it's not going to be a beautiful show in the sky in the morning. And that's one thing I don't think this is going to make it around and be a beautiful. Unless something happens and this thing is like, you know, is one big ball and it's just not being lit by the sun at all because it has some special metal. But if we go back and look, I mean, this thing should be just as bright leaving as it is, as it is coming in. I mean, look at, uh, let's go back to that, you know, um, where we started here, it was two days ago, 28. And uh, look how bright this thing is coming in. Let me back it up here. One hour. Look at six hours. All right. Look at it. It was beautiful coming in, wasn't it? Look how bright that was. And uh, all the way in, it was that bright. I mean, it, it was it was very bright approaching the sun. And it should be bright up here, too. So that's why I'm thinking we've lost it. It, let me take you back to where it was, and that's what's left. So there might be some fragments left, but I do think it's time to say probably rest in peace. We'll see if we have any uh, meteor showers here on Earth as we go through the tale of what it is and uh, or, or hopefully the path it's taking, because who knows what kind of fragments it leaves out. If, if we go by what science says, comet dust is supposed to be just little baby dust particles that won't hurt us. So much love, guys. Here we go. Comet Ison. We have survived at least perihelion. Nothing happened. Your electricity didn't go off, did it? And like I said, if you're scared at any point because somebody's channel has made you scared, it's time to look, start looking at who you're getting your news from. And uh, it's, not, it's not a bad idea to get news from everywhere. 